and welcome to the MCC workshop. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to desolder components on a through-hole printed circuit board. There's much information out there about desoldering. Unfortunately, a lot of it is misleading or, well, simply incorrect. Hopefully, this video will help you to learn some of the proper ways to repair circuit boards. Desoldering is not hard, but it does require practice, the proper tools, and of course, knowledge of the techniques. So first, let's talk briefly about some of the tools and materials you'll need. The first thing you need is, of course, a soldering iron. The improper choice of a soldering iron has due many circuit board repairs. See, the key to desoldering is to heat the solder up and get it out of there before the board gets hot enough to delaminate the circuit traces. This requires a soldering iron with enough power and especially enough thermal mass to transfer heat to the joint quickly. It would be one a bit larger than you would use for actually making the joint in the first place. For most purposes, I use this size iron. It has a 33 watt heater and a quarter inch chisel tip. It's a plain old Unger iron with a screw in heater and it does a fine job. Too small an iron will definitely ruin your chances of a successful job. Of course, a propane torch is just a bit of an overkill, but don't wimp out. The second thing you need is a way to get the solder off the land once it's molten. Now, desoldering braid is one choice. However, while it does have its uses, I believe most times it's a bad choice. But we'll discuss that later. There are also vacuum desoldering stations that use a vacuum pump to suck the solder up through the tip of the iron. That's an expensive choice and not at all necessary unless you do a lot of desoldering. Or you just have a need for cool, expensive tools. But fortunately, there is a third choice that, like the three bears, is just right for most surface. That's a handheld desoldering pump, commonly called a solder sucker. That's what we'll use here in this video. Of course, there are also many versions of solder sucker. Some are useless, such as these cute miniature ones. Junk. Don't bother. The only thing this will suck up is the money out of your wallet. The most common solder suckers are made by Sodapult with two L's, such as these here. The silver one is an anti-static, which basically means it costs more. These full-size pumps are the proper choice for this job. The iron and solder sucker, along with a couple of common hand tools, and of course some rosin core solder, are all you need to successfully remove components from the densest of through-hole circuit boards.